Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Just uh, leaving a drywall job that I got to come back to here shortly. Got one coat on and it uh, is now drying. So the way I run sourcing, which I have enough inventory right now. I have stuff I need to list, but everybody does, I suppose. Anyway, um, I... Uh, I'm down close to a Savers Value Village for I think that must be I don't know if it's just a regional or what they do I know they're the same company but we don't have Value Villages here we have Savers so um, but there's a Savers that's in a nicer part of town than the ones I'm usually close to so I'm gonna head up to it and see what I can find and go from there um, so something that I did kind of as an experiment seems to be uh, working out actually it doesn't seem to be it is working out so I had a customer I was looking at the local classifieds they had their ad was a hundred plus VHS tapes for sale um, it was an old ad uh, and it, I could tell it they weren't going to get much action for it because they just literally had a picture of a couple boxes they didn't have any individuals or a list of what they had or anything so that's kind of what I looked for is it was kind of obvious that they didn't uh, they, they weren't real familiar with selling online or they just didn't have the time to do it so I messaged him and said hey you know I'll list all those for you on eBay and we'll take you know the costs whatever it sells for less the eBay fees and the PayPal fees and then I'll split it with you and then what I did is when I I listed them all and I told them I'll list them all at buy it now prices um, with best offer um, I'll do some research to see how much they're going for and get those all listed and then anything that doesn't sell in that 30 days obviously I don't want to drag this out forever my personal inventory I'm kind of in the list it and forget it camp but for consignment I want to be done with that lot so um, basically I decided 60 days was as far as I was going to go so I'm going to do 30 days buy it and then I'm going to relist all those as auctions 99 cents uh, and just try to blast out the rest of them and then anything that's left I'll probably just put in lots or ask them if they just want me to donate them but uh, anyway so what has happened um, is there's been a few that have sold like the first one that sold was Princess Bride you know it was it sold for four dollars um, I've had a couple others that sold for a dollar ninety nine and then I finally I've had a couple that have been up and there's a bunch that have a lot of watchers and a lot of views um, so one that I have now the one that's in this package um, is Space Jam which uh, if I remember correctly, which I'll do a sold video, but um, it was, I want to say $14.99. And then um, I also had this one sale. Now this one. Um, one at a time. Uh, and then some of the newer ones you get to the 1940s, 50s, uh, in. even in the 60s. My stereo doesn't exactly like my phone, and so it... If I get a text message, it kicked my podcast back on. So that was Scavenger Life. Uh, definitely check that podcast out. they got a channel on YouTube, too. But uh, this one got an offer back and forth, back and forth. I think I finally settled on 1150 with them, and it was Toxic Avenger. Um, but one thing that has really made it, uh, you know, worth my time on these is... It's, it's building up my store inventory and my store reputation, first of all, and it's free inventory. Um, but what it has done is uh, I put in calculated shipping, and I have literally just chose a pound or less on everything. And media mail. For a while, eBay had a glitch. It actually helped me. They had a glitch, and they weren't letting me choose media mail. So I had to choose Smart Saver. So a lot of these got charged shipping that was like, you know, four dollars or you know, five bucks. And then when I go to actually ship it, it's generally about two fifty. So um, I've made, 
you know, about a dollar. Generally, I, I added 25 cents handling in there too. So when I listed it. So basically everything I listed, I found a sold price. General, almost every one of them has had multiples that have sold. I've went with the highest of those sold prices, done best offer, and set the best offer to automatically accept anything that's about 10% less. Um, and then I have 25 cents built in for shipping and handling, and then I put pound or less on everything. VHSs do vary in size and weight um, because, depending on the length, is how much tape is in there, um, they do vary in weight. So, the shorter movies with the regular just cardboard covers um, end up about nine ounces or so. Um, and then the bigger plastic clamshells and the longer movies, um, they end up so far have been about 12 ounces and then your double movies uh, are the ones where you want to put between one and two pounds because um, they usually come in right around 16 they're borderline on a pound and so if you don't want to you know take a hit on shipping you're going to want to make sure you bump that up so yeah I've made you know a dollar fifty or so between a dollar and a dollar fifty on each listing um, when it sells on shipping plus my half on whatever I made uh, when it sells so it's, it's actually been pretty good um, you're definitely better off uh, you know in the meantime of all this I've been listing shirts that I found and you know puzzles and games and things like that that I showed on my sold listings which you know you pick up for a dollar you sell for 20 so with fees and everything I'm making you know $18 an item but those are obviously where I want to be is over $20 or higher but these have been a great filler and you know I have the free listings and I didn't have enough inventory just because I, I started a, a store um, and I just didn't have I didn't have as enough inventory to fill it so it's worked out pretty good so if you're just starting out um, and you don't want to put um, a lot of your own money into the inventory, listing um, other people's items consignment style uh, can be a good way to fill that in. I Long term, this client too, another reason I did is they have a lot of collectible stuff from NFL teams and NBA teams and then some artwork and they're looking at blowing all that out too. Um, so this was kind of a test um, from their standpoint to me to see kind of what happens and how it works uh, before they say, yeah, go ahead and list this higher end stuff. So um, the higher end stuff, you know, if it's a $100 item, I told them that over 100, I'll do a 30% instead of a 50% commission. So um, on those higher dollar items, it, it could end up, you know, a lot better. We'll see what if that actually pans out and how that works. But just a way to build your business without, you know, outlaying that cash. But on another point, um, which Mike over at Global Voodoo's talked about, and a few other YouTubers have talked about, uh, you know, VHS sells. Um, in general, from what I've seen, you know, it's a lot of dollar ninety nine stuff. Uh, but you know, they're fifteen dollars and. You know, 11.50, and uh, you know, and you can make a couple bucks on shipping. Um, so if you're at a yard sale or someplace and they're blowing out uh, VHS tapes, uh, and you can pick up, you know, a bunch of them for 10 cents a piece, that's something I would probably take a gamble on, just because they are uh, fairly simple to list. They're pretty quick to list. Um, the way I've done it is just. You know, when I'm doing my research, I pull them up and then just choose sell similar and, you know, boom, change my, change what I need to change and I'm good to go. So, um, they're, they're pretty simple, quick to list. So if you've got room in your store and you can find those for cheap, I wouldn't be, uh, the one thing I will say is the ones that have the most views, I haven't sold any of them yet. But the ones that have the most views and the most watchers are the old um, 
like horror films. Um, there's a couple of those that we have that they're just, you know, they've had a ton of views. Um, like I said, I haven't sold any yet, but I intentionally priced those high. So I'm going to kind of see what happens with them. So when I'm out at stores, I'll probably, you know, kind of look for those. Um, and the other thing to look for, I'm not sure this is the correct term, but kind of indie style stuff. So movies that maybe weren't so popular, so there wasn't a ton of them pressed out. Uh, maybe or like that Toxic Avenger one, that's the reason it got so much is... Uh, I can't remember. I think they did do a DVD release of that, but I'm not positive. Um, but those, you know, DVDs the same way. You can kind of tell by the way the boxes are if if the cover work is, you know, kind of cheap looking or, um, you know, one step above homemade. There's a good chance that that was a limited limited run, um, maybe not a big movie house, and those movies get kind of a cult following, and then. Those are the ones that you can get some money on. So if I'm going to pay, you know, a dollar or, you know, two dollars for a tape, um, it's going to be one of those. Ones that are, you know, just your general releases. I'm not really looking for those unless I can pick them up 10 cents a piece or whatever. So anyway, just something to keep, uh, keep on the lookout for. And like I said, a way to maybe bulk up your inventory without putting any money into it. So keep your eyes open for opportunities like that. Keep sourcing and just keep making it work. So until next time, uh, these will be on the video of what sold. Don't have enough to do a weekly one yet, so I'll probably do one the end of the month or end of two weeks of sales pickup. Doing about, I'm doing two or three sales a day now in the last week, so that's been nice. I only got about 120 items in the store. so. If you like this hit the thumbs up button subscribe and i'll keep you updated on kind of how i'm starting from uh you know nothing in an ebay store to hopefully where it's full time uh, by the end of the year and keep going from there have a great one guys and we will see y'all soon